Hey guys, what's up? It's Audra and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. So today I thought it would be cool to do another segment of Cooking with Audra, but Valentine's Day edition. So we're going to be making chocolate covered strawberries because what else would I make for Valentine's Day other than that? So as you all know from watching me in previous videos like this, I'm very bad at cooking and baking, but this seems like it really can't be that difficult. So pretty much the only thing I have to do is put these things in the microwave without burning them, which can't be that hard. So I'm gonna do like a little bit at a time because I'm worried that I'm not gonna be able to like get all these strawberries dipped before this chocolate like hardens. Anyways, that's my only concern about this. I also bought sprinkles, so let me go grab those. I mean, come on. Did we do this on purpose? Maybe. You tell me. Okay, one issue is I can't get these open. You make these so difficult. It's my nails. We've done it. Oh, I bet there's an, oh no, there is no inside thing. Okay, good. So we've got our ingredients. We have chocolate strawberries i just washed all these they're ready to go and then sprinkles i think i just need a tray to lay them out on we're just gonna lay them on this so let's try and figure out how to melt this chocolate so it says all you have to do is put it in a bowl and put it in the microwave for 30 seconds so i'm just gonna do a little bit and see what i have to do first you just put it in and then you like stir it so that it melts oh this is gonna be disaster oh okay of chocolate. I'm gonna do like two and a half, no, three, three handfuls to start. And then I'm just gonna put it in for like 30 second increments, melt it, stir it, melt it, repeat. Mm -hmm. And we're done. It doesn't look like anything happened. It's, no, that's a lie, okay. It's melted on the bottom. I don't know, should I just keep stirring it until it's melted all the way? What does it say? I gotta take these off, I can't see anything. Oh no, okay. It says repeat until wafers are completely melted. So that was not a lot, so let's try it again. I wanna, I wanna lick this spoon so bad, but I'm not going to because I'm gonna put this spoon back in the chocolate. Oh wait. so good. I have this random memory of this one time when I was little. We went to this thing for my birthday party called the Little Diva Day Spa in Erie. And every time I melt chocolate, I think about it. But they did like these chocolate facials. And you got to choose between like chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry like frosting. And then they like put this stuff like all over your face. And honestly, thinking back, it probably wasn't good for your face. But... I, at the time, absolutely loved it. Okay, I feel like this is melted all the way. There's like still a few little chunks, but I think if I just stir it up more, it'll be fine. I don't think I want to put it in for another 30 seconds because I think that's going to be probably way too much. So I'm just going to keep stirring this and then move over to where the strawberries are. Okay, so one thing about this is I don't exactly know how I'm going to dip these into this but you know what we're just gonna go for it i love the things on are you supposed to leave those on i don't know i'm going to because i don't know how else we're gonna be able to eat them i think i'm just gonna go for it i think what i'm gonna do is actually use the spoon oh my gosh this feels like it's gonna break and dip it like that oh my god these aren't gonna look pretty that's for sure. All right, I'm just gonna set them on here and then sprinkle them and see how it works. It's so cute. Okay, I, I need to go quick because I'm afraid that I'm not gonna, this is gonna harden. I also washed these this morning so that they wouldn't be like soaking wet when I was trying to dip them in this chocolate and I think that that was probably a good move. <laughs> sprinkles 
sprinkles were a nice touch, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty proud of the sprinkles. I just wish these strawberries weren't so enormous. Like, look at how big this strawberry is. And I have to cover that in chocolate. Oh no, I ripped the leaves off of this one. Oh my God, I don't know if I can recover. All right, this chocolate's starting to get a little tough. Oh my God, I'm a mess. Look at my <laughs> Oh no, strawberry down, guys. <laughs> You have to be joking. I just dropped a strawberry onto the strawberry container and then when I went to go pick it up, I spilled the sprinkles all over the tray. Oh. All right, whatever. I'll just like roll the strawberry in that, I guess. I don't know. That's so annoying. Of course that would happen. Literally, why? Oh my gosh. All right, I think. I'm gonna try and melt some more chocolate because this is getting a little ridiculous. But I am gonna try to pick up these sprinkles with this. All right, it didn't quite work, but you know what? It's okay, let's melt some more chocolate. It truly wouldn't be an Audra cooking video without something going horribly wrong. I wouldn't say it went horribly wrong, but I actually don't know what to do about these sprinkles. This chocolate hardened already and I really wanna eat one of these but I'm not going to yet. I'm gonna wait until the end. We are back in business, baby. I feel like I'm at Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. I feel like I need to be quicker with it and maybe not rip off these stems because that seems to be making everything a little bit more difficult. I put more chocolate in so that I could just dip it in and not have to like swirl it around. And I think that that is probably a good idea, but obviously it's only gonna stay like that for like the first three. We're kind of on a roll now. I'm almost using my nails as like an anchor. I'm just kind of like digging them into the strawberry because literally the only people who are gonna eat this are my family. And I wash my hands. But I'm just digging them into the strawberry and just pulling it out like with my nails so it doesn't like break apart. I don't know. It's kind of working. It's better than making another dirty fork or something. All right, this is going a lot smoother than the first time. I feel like I've got it down now. I am definitely covered in chocolate and my hands are absolutely covered in chocolate, but I'm, I'm moving right along on this. I feel like this has been the best cooking video so far, considering the only thing that really went wrong was that one fallen strawberry and then the sprinkle spillage. But I feel like in the other ones, there was much more uh, disaster. I feel like I'm getting better. This is definitely easier than all the other ones, but I still feel like I'm I'm making my way up in the ranks of these cooking videos. All right, we're gonna have to give up on this, this batch of chocolate. I'm gonna have to do one more to finish off these last like few strawberries, which isn't a lot. So I'm probably not gonna make as much as I've been making but that one has so much chocolate, just like the tiniest bit more. All right, I just popped that in the microwave, but look at how good these look. Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I feel like normally I will like do good like making, like baking it or something, and then it looks terrible. But I feel like these ones, obviously not baking, but they look cute. And that was like the whole point of this. All right, we're on our last round of dipping. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strawberries left, and that's it. So I'm gonna try and get them all with the quick, quick dip method so I don't have to use the spoon for these last few because that will make me feel so much better. And like I accomplished something. They just look so good and they're so easy when you do it like this, when the chocolate's like super melty right at the beginning. Oh, come on, Audra. It's like a race against the clock. What was that show that was on TV where they used to make you like pull tissues out and see how fast you could do it? Was it like 60 seconds or something? Minute to win it, minute to win it. That's what I feel like right now. I feel like I'm on that show. See how many strawberries I can dip into this chocolate in 60 seconds so that I don't have to use the spoon. I refuse. We have three more left. It's really starting to get low though because I didn't use as much chocolate. I'm just like laying it down in this chocolate. It is just drowning in here. This one looks like it's gonna fall. 
This one's got a leaf in it. That's okay. I'm running out of space. I just had to move all these because I have no space. All right, this is the last one. This one's gonna be a little rough, but that's okay. Yes. Done. All right, guys, I got chocolate all over me that time. This is the end of it. I have chocolate all over my teeth. Okay, this is the end of the video, but of course, I need to try one. Oh, let me put my glasses back on for this. Here we go, moment of truth. They're so good. It's like, number one, the strawberries are really good, which I'm surprised by, but the chocolate's so good on top. Oh, I have completed my Valentine's Day quest. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't already, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload every Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, happy Valentine's Day.